Alright, hello, here we go. Um, Dwarf Mirror. Actually quite close TV. <laughs> Thanks to the three the three journeymen. Oh god, he's got two plus strength guys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and one, two, three, four. How come he's got so much? Oh, he's only got one reroll. Six three zero. He's got one reroll. I was thinking, how has he got two strength on us? He's got two strength instead of two rerolls. It sure looks at whole tech. I don't know if it is or not, but um, I don't know if it is or not, but it sure looks it. I'm gonna get an apple and use it aggressively. Maybe a wizard be better. Got a leader runner. Clever git. Apple's all right, isn't it? Does the job. Gothic, I, I, I never played Gothic, my, one of my friends played it and he thought it was brilliant, but I never played it. He probably thought it was brilliant because I didn't play it so he could beat people. <laughs> he was probably the best at Gothic because me and Wanger didn't play it, so that's probably why he loved it so much, to be honest. That's, that's literally probably why he enjoyed it. Because me and Wang didn't play it. Me and Wang were the best at everything. Yeah, exactly, Coffee Monster. It's just not it's just not Necromunda. You have five guys who can take loads of damage. That's not Necromunda at all. Necromunda, you get hit, you're basically dead, aren't you? Like if you get hit by a heavy blow, if you get hit with a, a, a sustained fire, one ganger gets hit by the sustained fire of a, of a heavy stubber, he is dead. A hundred, a hundred percent dead. Uh, well, not really, but you know, pretty high percent dead if, he, if you get nailed by in the open with a heavy stubber. Like if you just get hit by a heavy stubber, sustained fire dice, you're probably just dead. Almost certainly dead. Whereas in Necromunda the game, Honestly, uh, he just got he just got uh, jumpy. Jim got shot about ten times in the course of a game and was just fine at the end of it. It's like they might as well have Space Marines. Then it'd be then it'd be five. Then it'd be five. Uh, then five aside would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> what was that real cool? Ah, oh, cheers. Now don't be a min maxing twat and let me win. <laughs> <laughs> like you know they might as well have made it five aside and made it like uh what's it called um death watch or whatever should have made like death watch or something made it space marines versus other space marines it's so stupid that like these just humans with no armor are just tanking heavy stubber shots what's that about Jumpy Jim had somebody with a las cannon. I thought, oh god, this is going to be great if he shoots somebody with a las cannon and they survive. It'll be the most stupid game ever. But I, I didn't get to see him hit anybody with a las cannon. But I mean, a las cannon in Necromunda is already hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> hey, what the hell, man? <laughs> Who'd have a las cannon in Necromunda? <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious. And I was really hoping that he was just going to shoot somebody and, like, completely obliterate them. But, um,. Sadly, didn't get to see it. C'est un match crucial, Bob. Qu'est-ce que ça te fait d'assister à un match aussi important? Nothing special. <laughs> I guess he's thinking with the three loners, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but in the computer game, obviously you could just roll a one to wound right with the last cannon. But in a computer game, <laughs> if you got hit by a las cannon, yes, kill, yes. Yes, exactly. Well, no, I mean, I waited till they got injured. I just didn't replace them. I just didn't replace them when they got injured. Um, it's like they have been injured, but over the course of 11 games. Yes, I you. Les scavens jouent entre eux dans de vastes cavernes souterraines. Chaque équipe a l'appui d'un clan majeur. Il y a les équipes du clan Steer, celles du clan Echin, et ainsi de suite. J'ai rien compris de ce charabia, Jim. Ne me... Ah, ne me parle plus pendant au moins quelques temps. Ah, J'ai beaucoup de respect pour la résistance des nains. Et toi, Jim Ah, c'est vrai que... Ah, oh, je ne peux pas, ils sont trop... Distracieux One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, it's not real neat to bring him back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to go back to where he stood. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Then he can go quite far forwards. There's no need to do anything with him, really. Surrounded by guard. C'est bien, mon petit père. Faut les encourager, les pauvres. C'est pas souvent qu'ils arrivent à faire ce genre d'action. Yeah, last cannons can stop anything, can't they? Like they're the best weapon against nearly everything. Oh, okay, melter guns and stuff are better, but oh, God, I used to be better anyway. Don't know what's best now, but like against like you know, God, oh, I should have uploaded. I've got two. Stupid. <laughs> I had forgot I had the extra apple Just talking about bloody blood ball. Not blood ball forty k. God damn it. God damn it. No, okay, he's not a guarder. I don't care. <laughs> he's not a guarder. I don't care. No, it's, <laughs> it's my fault, obviously. But also, I wouldn't have made that mistake if I wasn't streaming. But that's just the nature of streaming, isn't it? Is what it is. Can't hit us from this side, can from this side. I think put him in there. And him out here.
One to throw, one to catch. Yeah, two two runners is all right. It's I don't hate two runners. I don't hate two runners. It does give you a bit more speed, doesn't it? Which is now called responsiveness, thanks to Dio. <laughs> but um, it's not terrible to have a bit more speed, but. Obviously, then you've got two on the right. I mean, you can protect them, and it does mean you can give one leader and one kickoff return and block. The way he has. It's alright to have a bit more speed, but. Less bad against wizards than if you get them randomly cast somehow. But then if you go crazy with one, you're more likely to lose him and be down a player for the half and stuff, so it's not all roses, is it? Right, it can block him into there, and then him into then... So block him into there, and then 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 he surfs. Could surf it. Surf now. I'm not even gonna try. Flip me, guys, never mind. It's really good pushing players, isn't it, guys? I really like pushing guys, guys. Really like pushing players, guys. Flip me, guys. Yes, more pushes, guys. This is really going great, guys. Yeah, I could have got the surf, couldn't I? Could have got the surf. God damn it. I guess you can roll that many pushes, yeah. <laughs> More responsiveness equity, yeah. Yeah, it's funny how the dioisms have become... have become pretty mainstream pretty quickly. I hate lines the most. L lines is the worst thing though, because you can't you can't take lines in Blood Bowl. All you can do is make plays. There are no lines.
Yeah, probably, probably kill. Randomizing the equity. <laughs> that was the best. Old Rick and his randomizing the equity. Oh yeah, now I roll a pal. <laughs> Why did I blitz him? I had a block. I was going to blitz him and then assist. Oh, what an idiot. What a complete tool bag. Probably should have left him stand there. Oh, I'm playing rubbish now. Good job I don't care and I've got a hot date on Tinder. What a boring waste of time this is. <laughs> Not grand at all. <laughs> Not on Tinder either, it's just Art's line, isn't it, whenever he's losing a game. It's a boring waste of time. I don't care anyway. <laughs> He stood this guy up, he really wants this guy surf, doesn't he? Be a double serve? No, no, no. Disregard. No double serve. I've pushed in the wrong square. Oh, fuck off, man. I mean, oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> Three turns, two re-rolls. Just got to spam forward somehow, haven't I? A... 
I was going to do a funky little move there and then I just forgot and went for the boring surf that didn't even work. Dwarves versus dwarves is pretty boring, isn't it? Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. L'union fait la force. Allez, les gars! Blood Bowl, ça veut dire tu vas 200. C'est pas pour rien. Let's get forward this turn. So go in the middle here. I don't really have the support though, so I've almost got to just mash up the side here. Pretty ropey. <laughs> maybe I should have gone. I maybe I should have tried to get more central last turn to be able to go central this turn. But it's pretty much too hard to go middle, wasn't it? Really wish I'd have put that KO though. Would have had him for all these turns.
how do I break through next time? Oh, that stun could maybe help us do something. Oh yeah, I gave him the one D if he just got a push on that. Oop. No, oh, shit. I just thought as long as he doesn't get an armor break, it's alright. It's actually pretty good that. Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh. All right, let's see what happens. He can't block. He has to block. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. GFI. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. GFI. And then he goes there, and then he double GFIs to punch him. Just run around and hit us though. Could move him into there, then he could punch him and then have him here. Which isn't ideal. The second runner, the second runner's bollocks. If only I had, if only I played better and not let him one D the ball. That's the real answer. Just played better kill. I was thinking about him one D and part then team positive, being able to run through and hit the ball, and just didn't think about him following like and cancelling the assist and try and fucking play better. So yeah. I just had to play better. It wasn't about should have had a second runner. Second run is it doesn't make the second runner play. Second doesn't make the second runner better. <laughs> like that was bad play by me to get him knocked over. So just because I played bad and got my ball carrier knocked over, that doesn't mean that the second runner oh imagine if we had a second runner. That's just stupid kill. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> well, 
there you go. That's that's how you run up completely unprotected like that. And uh, do all right. It's a shame that I can't serve him, isn't it? Being strength four. Classic Jim Dice. Hit with mighty blow. But hit him and then hit him. Or just don't hit with anybody because I've got a re I've got to have the reroll for the GFI. And levels him. Great play. Great play. I can see if this is three. The old garbage time one. Right, it's a halfway at the draw anyway, that's good, isn't it? Just gotta use these apples on KOs if they happen in the second half. Would have liked to have done some damage in the first half to him. But there you go. I didn't save it. What an idiot. What an idiot. I'm not scheduled yet. Saddest lad. Yeah, very unlikely to lose now. Like, it's still possible, obviously, because he could just make three cars here. And then, and then four cars in his next four blocks. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then he's going to go for the win, isn't he? But yeah, very unlikely to be a loss of these. Could roll, you could roll like I rolled in Chalice. Um, but, I mean, even then I had Mighty Blow and piling on. He hasn't got any, and Dirty Player, he ain't got any, he's got one Mighty Blow, hasn't he? So, really unlikely that he, uh, he gets crazy dice. But he could. Chalice. Um, <laughs> uh, I got drawn against 2000 TV Nurgle and diced the living hell out of them, kill. <laughs> I'd very rarely go out first out, first round, but unlike some other streamers, I usually do alright. Uh, what race? 85% uh, I'm dead. And then next round is against. Vampires. So if they get a wizard, it'll be very dodgy. If they don't get a wizard, should be alright. That's my call. Yeah, they, they've they've got like one guy missing, a thrall missing the next game, so they're pretty. 
pretty close to full strength. That's about 1600. They're about 1600 and I'm about 1750. So I think I'm going to deny the wizard even if I, like, I go down to 12 players. I could, I could go down to 12 players to deny the wizard. Of all the apples I've ever used, that's got to be... No, it's not a Monster Team 1700 TV. That's got to be one of the least satisfying apples of all time, hasn't it? A journeyman. <laughs> a KO and a journeyman on turn 8. But he was 50-50 not come back, wasn't he? And now he's come back, so... Kind of worth it. Yeah, killer throw, yeah, so... I don't know, I might have to go, like, I think I'll get a wizard. I think I'll, sorry, I think I'll try to stop him getting a wizard. He, obviously, he could go down with 11 or whatever and get a wizard, probably. But at least then he's done 11 men, isn't he? So, I think I'm going to cut down to try and uh, exactly muff it. Yeah, that's why I pulled it. So, I think it was a fine apple. Well, like, I think it was the right decision. It just still doesn't feel good to do it, does it? Appoing a, lo a loner journeyman, like a loner on turn eight, KO is like a, it's horrible, but appoing, appoing castes don't matter in the second half, does it? It's only appoing KOs. You're more likely to get cars than, than KO'd, so it was the best value I was going to get from it. It just doesn't feel good. I think without a wizard, I fancy my chances because got a blood stepper ball carry haven't I some sure hands so I should be should be able to look after the ball fine really I don't know how many tackle he seems to have a lot of stats I don't know how much tackle he's got there's a there's a website with it on Poncho Poncho's made it Spike bot. So Caprion's Blood Dragons. Yeah, he's got no tackle. Oh, he's got a rackle frenzy thrall. Strength up block. Add jump. Blodge strength up. Blodge step, blodge step. So. <laughs> Link the website. I don't know, it's it's the prediction sheet has got all the links, but. Um, I don't know if I should link that on it. But that's, that's his team. He's got five vampires. And it's very TV like, isn't it? Six that's sixteen ten TV, that's crazy. I guess he hasn't got a lot of tools, but he just kinda of needs the wizard. If he doesn't have a wizard, I'm pretty happy because he ain't got a tackle. Or he's got one tackle that I can easily take out of the game. So So I feel like wizards is pretty much only chance. Now again, I thought wizard was Chunter's pretty much only chance, but it wasn't just a wizard, it was also a blitz. And <laughs> he got his blitz. So. <laughs> so, you know, anything can happen in a game of Blood Bowl. Dirty Dean or Chunter getting a blitz.
Yes, kill. So I think it's worth me cutting down to like 12. And then that mean, if that means he cuts down a lot, then he cuts down a lot as well, doesn't he? Yeah, no shits at his lad. Uh, well, I don't know what to say to you then, Muppet. Try, try counting. Oh, it's a thrall! I was going to say try counting better, but I was being a dick. I saw the strength and thought it was a vampire. I thought it was a strength up. I thought it was an extra strength up vampire. No, there is four vampires. Why did I think that was a vampire as well? It must have been the strength four. Oh yeah, four vamps. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of Total War, to be honest, Goliath. It's just a Total War game, isn't it? It's probably good if you like Total War. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> that was about, about to be a right cunt. But look at that, I shouldn't have sworn. But luckily, I wasn't. Gonna blitz his strength up here. Mighty blow. Kazim. Instant Kaz. No armor break. Same thing. Right, the wall of dwarves, dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. I don't know why I thought that plus strength of thrall was a plus strength of vampire. I thought, why has he got one vampire at the bottom? What an idiot. <laughs> so that's why that's why he's he's more TV efficient, he's only got four. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Muppet, yeah, so I'll drop down to twelve. I'm on 15 at the moment, so that'll put us both pretty close on TV. And obviously if he goes down to 12 or 11, then it's going to be that much harder for him to not get murdered off the field, isn't it? So, I think... I really don't want him to get a wizard. <laughs> I really don't want him to get a wizard. Um, and I think if there isn't a wizard, I think it should be almost, almost fine. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Glorious. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're entering Norse country. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, thank you very much, Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nope. Not dead. Yeah, so overtime favours us, right? He'll lose players, he'll lose rerolls, he'll lose players. So we've got the inevitability a bit for the for the kicks. The kequity. Or ti equity or ti or titty. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Or ti equity 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 equity. Got chances. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to knock down everybody. <laughs> I thought he might have not knocked down everybody.
Vas-y, mon gars Mors y l'œil Il s'acharne sur ce pauvre joueur Comme des halflings autour d'un sac Never work it. What do I do with this guy? You could just leave him there. Full dwarf there. <laughs> the old 1D AV break. Glorious. I mean, there was the chance. I would have liked to have just bracketed him so that we could surf him next turn, right? Then that would have been real tough for him if he got bracketed. Then he's like, how do I stop him getting surfed? He's probably got to do the dodges and then he just fails, I guess. But then if he turns over, then he gets surfed, so. It would have been not. I mean, it doesn't really. It would have been two fast players. It would have been two fast players on him. It could have served him and got back into the drive. So I wouldn't have hated putting sticking two guys in him. Never can't log on. No, it's made with it's made with Blood Bowl three in mind, where I don't think I would have a troll slayer. Due to you know, to make the uh, rebuy easier, basically. More min max, more min max to the max, no luxury players. For the playoffs, maybe. I don't know, though. I mean, I have had a Slayer in Blood Bowl. I'm like, I'm, I like, normally, I like one Slayer. Just to make him Pom. But there's no Pom in Blood Bowl 3, so no need for a Slayer. That's that's another good reason as well, actually. The reason that I have the Slayer is for a Pommer, because you need a Pommer in Blood Bowl 2. But there's no Poms. There's no Pommers in Blood Bowl 3, so no need for a Slayer. Yeah, not really, Pedro. The, pretty much the only thing that it's good for is uh, it is uh, getting more, pretty much. Pact's good for uh, being a team that you never play. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Pedro, we can't all we can't all have deep fried Mars bars, can we? Do we blitz him? Into him. So that we can blitz him. Probably. I think that. Oh, we can't blitz him because they're only blocking the dickhead. So in that case. Could block him and then can't block him. No, okay. So he's got to stand up. Nice. 
Nice. It's got to go in here though. Whoa, all oh, right, okay, 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 okay. GFI there. GFI there. That's not even a GFI, is it? <laughs> Let's not GFI there then. <laughs> Let's not make a pointless GFI. <laughs> Not able to say due to the NDA disclosures. The NDA, NDA disclosures. The NDAs they've signed. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't log on. If and the people who tested Blood Bowl three signed NDAs, so no. <laughs> Literal hours play testing it. But I think it's pretty obvious who, who is being involved with it. For a few hours. And I think they probably just played some NAF games and were like, alright, that's good. Let's play some NAF games with worse passing and worse leaping and call it good. I was not involved, no. I'm not part of the... Naf Cleek. Oh, he's never going to get his second level. Especially not if he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, even more efficient. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. <laughs> that was that was naked gun, wasn't it? I love it. <laughs> I can't remember the rest of the scene, I just remember him going, I love it. And there could be 2D on the ball here, couldn't there? Or at least 1D on the ball. Depending on what he does here. With things. If that had been a both down, I think could have got 2D on the ball. By being a clever, clever Dino. fuck about chalice kill and also <laughs> I could just get one couldn't I if I was like if I was down TV I could get one so it's not a problem oh you, you can just get 2d anyway don't even need to be clever God damn it. That was annoying, wasn't it? Bien vu, ça. Tout est dans la 
l'élimination. C'est une de mes spécialités quand je joue en dehors. Je suis déçu. Personne n'a été allongé. I mean, apart from not having mold, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was a shame, wasn't it? If that had been a power, would have got two dice on the ball. I still can't believe that quads, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? What his plan is here, though. Blitz with his strength for no knockdown. Doesn't re-roll it. Don't know how he protects the ball. I don't know where he goes with the ball. Why protect the ball? Good point, Satterfield. Good point. <laughs> People need to learn the way of the Norse, the space cadet. Not Norse cadet. Space cadet. Worked for me as well, to be fair, this game, didn't it? I went full space cadet. <laughs> and he rolled quad skulls. <laughs> He went to full sp I went to full space cadet and he rolled quad skulls. Alright, double GFI for the assist. Sorted. No, it's not looking so good. In fact, it's not looking possible at all. Probably should have rolled a power there, shouldn't I? I didn't want to do the GFIs first. I guess I'll blitz and base the ball. Sur le porteur du ballon, qui 
il a intérêt à s'activer I think that was better because otherwise uh, he could have blocked, he could have blitzed him, based him, and then passed it to him. <laughs> Ball based. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, I just let my opponent quad score. <laughs> Genius tactic, really, wasn't it? <laughs> just run up completely unprotected. <laughs> Let him quad skull. <laughs> Jeebus. Maybe he won these with a runner. Looks like he's dodging the ball carrier at least. It's getting tricky now, isn't it? Turn fourteen, it's getting tricky for him. Was a blitzer. Le porteur bloque en personne. Instant full power. Don't you dare break AV. Good. Can't be doing that, can you? I guess he is. Might as well reroll that before the other runner gets served. Right, so what's this? Is a three plus to serve him? Three plus to get the. Uh... Hup, hup. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Hup, hup, hup. He's got to stand up, obviously. So he just needs to push. That's a, that's just, it's, yeah, it's a three plus to get a push. Otherwise, it's a four plus dodge in. Could double GFI to make it, but nah, that's stupid, right? Could dodge to make it a 2D, but that's still a 3+. plus. I better have him standing. Get the push there. Oh, there's a GFI as well. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I'd just move him here and surf the other one, and then blitz somebody else.
No, the one D was to was to get the push, wasn't it? <laughs> Ugh. Really would have liked to have done the one D serve. Can this guy get in range? I guess he can. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so he could. That's four GFIs and a pass to him, and he could still mm, base him. Maybe I could have thought about doing that block before standing him up, so that if it was, if I'd used the reroll, I could have then blitzed him and based the ball with him or something. I don't know, the, the surf was fine there. Oh, the 1D was a both down, glorious. I guess his play was surf and then 1D blitz or something. Yeah, I think, and plus it was a GFI as well, I think, without the reroll. It was definitely going to fail the GFI or skull with the dice that were rolled, but even regardless of the dice, I think it was it was too risky. This was that, this, The safe surf was nice, wasn't it? Gets the power there, though. I mean, completely irrelevant, that one. At least the others were like, if they were powers, they would have got 2Ds and stuff that helped him. That was just a completely irrelevant 1D. Yeah, this was the player, the double GFI. Should have just stacked him. This is pretty much the only player he had was this double GFI. So I probably shouldn't have moved him over here. He should have probably been over there. Because it's pretty much the only thing he had going for him. Oh, he's not passing to him. Okay. Interesting. He's going to try the old blitz pass. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. He has got the scoring threat. He's a GFI to base him at least, but this is my guy that's getting the punches and stuff, so I've got the base and hit with Lona, which is then getting <laughs> another two. Oh no, then he's. No, he can't blitz. Then he's getting the blitz after it. I think it's worth making the block first with Lona. Is it? No. I'll just make the blitz with Lona straight up. I blitz, blitz straight up so I don't have to rely on the Lona. Which way is best? I don't know. That way is alright, isn't it? That way is alright.
Hey, Kazu Strength 4. Completely pointless, but funny. Well done, Lorna Man. You're getting hired. Do I foul here? One D first, then two D, and then just go there in two D. <laughs> All the one D pals, lovely. It's hard to say. It's hard to say centre field. This because this way I had two D. I could have pushed him there and hit him with a loner, and then hit him with a loner, and then hit him with this guy. So I still had all the blocks of him potentially. But the problem is if I roll both downs on the loners, that was the only thing. Oh. That's the thing is ten year old rules. That's the that's the crappiest thing. Like I'm not that high I wouldn't be hyped for Blood Bowl three if we had Blood Bowl twenty sixteen. But we don't have Blood Bowl twenty sixteen. <laughs> so I think Blood Bowl 2016 is probably better than Blood Bowl 2020. But I think for, for Blood Bowl tours, it's like way better. Because everyone complains about Clopon, don't they? <laughs> He's still got to get the ball, or he's still got to dodge through Piccadilly. He got the good scatter, didn't he? He's got the dodges and the GF. Oh my god, no way! No way! No way! This one wasn't this easier because he had to do a five four two two. He had a five five four three three five three.
Oh man. <laughs> Right, so we had two more dice to roll, didn't he? So I guess the results of this block, if it's a both down, then um, he uh, he'll have been fucked. Well, he would have scored it. <laughs> He'd have scored it. Wow. I can't believe you did all those dodges through. <laughs> no, it's insane. <laughs> Unbelievable, what did you say? <laughs> that was that was crazy, wasn't it? My offense relied on him quad sculling and my defense relied on him running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You can clip it from the VOD, it's alright. It is unfair to run out of time. It is horrible, yeah. It is so unfair for him, yeah, it is. Like, although it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the links don't work. Right, who got MVP? I can't see who got MVP. I don't know if I want to buy this guy or not, because I don't know who got MVP. Oh, that's so stupid, isn't it? You can't, it's not coming up twice hopped. If you look on the screen, it's not coming up because for some reason, links don't work. How can I, can I see this on like? Can I see this on uh Oh yeah, look at the VOD. <laughs> Freeze frame it on the VOD. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right, bear with me. <laughs> oh, that was horrible for me, isn't it? Oh no! Imagine. <laughs> Make up all the rolls and then lose them. Le saviez-vous? L'expérience de 2479 sur l'utilisation de ballons en granit n'a rien donné. If you post in the Discord, then I'll post the link. Can't freeze frame on these. Fiction, fiction got the MVP. Flip me, guys. Of course he did. <laughs> yeah, the move bus. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I guess I might as well buy him then here on two. That's typical, that, isn't it? God damn it, dead guy MVP. Absolutely standard. 71 blocks. Wow, I can't believe it. I was so lucky, wasn't it? Winning because he ran out of time. Hey, we got two levels. I like stand firm for the blitzers. So, I'm going to go stand firm.
and stand firm. I mean, he was incredibly lucky to roll all those dice, obviously. Let's give him sure hands. Right, and uh, there you go. We got some glorious. We got some glorious stand firm. Right, <laughs> and a, a completely undeserved victory. <laughs> uh, I think probably a nil-nil draw would have been fair, wouldn't it, due to the uh, the quad skulls that he rolled. And then he made, but then he made all of those crazy rolls and then ran out of time. So there you go, crazy stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.